Unit 67. Word formation. Compounds. Speaking and listening. Introduction. Judy. Yes, Françoise? What's the difference between a cup of tea and a teacup? Well, this is a cup of tea. Mm hmm. Mm. And now it's a teacup. Ah, I see. So this is a bottle of lemonade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now it's a lemonade bottle. That's right. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello, oh, Christina. Hello, Christina. What are you all talking about? We're talking about teacups and lemonade bottles. Oh. <laughs> Just a normal conversation. Oh, I see. <laughs> Actually, we're talking about compound nouns. There are a lot of them in English. <laughs> That's true. For example, well, well, look at the things on the table. Mm -hmm. A teaspoon, a phrase book, a cassette player. Postcards. <laughs> <laughs> the words are easy to understand, but when I write them, I have a problem. What's that? Well, should they be written as one word or as two words? Or as one word with a, a hyphen. Oh, <laughs> It's a bit difficult to say. Some are usually written as two words, like <laughs> bus stop, for example. Mm -hmm. Some usually have a hyphen, like... Ice hockey. Some are usually written as one word, like uh, seat belt. Now, are there any rules? Oh, not really. You can see some compound nouns written in all three ways. For example, what do you call a shop that sells books? Mm. A bookshop. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you can write it in three ways. Book shop, two mm. words. Book z shop, one word with a hyphen. Bookshop. One word without a hyphen. Very interesting. Oh. <laughs> well, it's 9.30. Let's go to the classroom. OK. OK. Mm -hmm. But is it classroom or a class -z room <laughs> or a classroom? <laughs> <laughs> that is the question. Compound nouns. Listen. Are you ready to order? Yes. I'll have a prawn cocktail. One prawn cocktail. Uh, for you, madam? I think I'll have some soup. We've got tomato soup, chicken soup and vegetable soup. Tomato, please. One tomato soup. And then I'll have a chicken salad. One chicken salad. Uh, for you, sir? I think I'll have an omelette. Certainly, sir. A ham omelette, a cheese omelette, a mushroom omelette, or a surprise omelette. Oh, what's a surprise omelette? It's an omelette with either ham or cheese or mushrooms in it, but you don't know which until it arrives at the table. Ah. Listen and answer. What do you call an omelette with cheese in it? A cheese omelette. What do you call an omelette with mushrooms in it? A mushroom omelette. What do you call soup made with tomatoes? Tomato soup. Listen and repeat. An answering machine. A washing machine. A frying pan. Drinking water. Listen and answer. What do you call a machine that answers the telephone? An answering machine. What do you call a machine that washes clothes? A washing machine. What do you call a pan that you can fry things in? A frying pan.
What do you call water that you can drink? Drinking water. Nouns in groups. Listen. So, what have you been doing recently? Well, I've got a new job. I've been promoted. Oh, congratulations. That's great. And I've moved to a new flat. What's your new telephone number? Oh, I've got some cards here. Yes, here you are. My address, my home telephone number, and my office telephone number. Thanks. Do you still play tennis? Not very often. I've started playing table tennis instead. Oh. Do you know anyone who wants to sell a table tennis table? Um. Listen and repeat. My number. My telephone number. My home telephone number. My office telephone number. A shop. A coffee shop. A hotel coffee shop. An airport hotel coffee shop. Listen. Airport hotel coffee shop fire drama. Airport hotel coffee shop fire drama. Daily news, please. Thank you. Airport hotel, coffee shop, fire drama. Yesterday, we were talking about newspaper headlines. I found another good example. Airport hotel, coffee shop, fire drama. Something exciting or dangerous happened. A drama. What was it? A fire. Where was the fire? In a coffee shop. Where's the coffee shop? In a hotel. And where's the hotel? At an airport or near an airport? Airport, hotel, coffee shop, fire drama. Hmm. Adjectives. Listen. So, what have you been doing? Are you still working for the Daily News? Yes. Any dramas recently? Well, only the fire at the coffee shop in the airport hotel. I interviewed the manager. Fortunately, no one was hurt in the fire, and the manager was quite a funny man. Funny amusing or funny strange? Both. I said, how should I describe you? I meant, uh, should I describe you as the coffee shop manager or the coffee shop supervisor, or what? Yes. And he said, describe me as red-haired, blue-eyed, middle-aged and good-looking. <laughs> and then he said, don't forget to say that the hotel is world famous and the coffee shop is air conditioned. You're joking. No, <laughs> oh, I'm not. He really said it. Song. Leave me alone.
Accents of English. This speaker is from New York City. Listen. One time, I chased a guy uh, into a, a candy store on Avenue C. He had a gun. He stuck up somebody. And I got him in there, and I, I broke his jaw and everything, took the gun away from him. Now, when I was driving the taxi cab, that's before I went to California, I got stuck up over on Hudson Street. And as the guy was leaping into the door, I just jumped off, and I grabbed him, and I knocked him out, put him in the cab. This speaker is from London. Listen. My dad came from uh, Wapping, and my mum came from Poplar. My dad was one of... 11 kids. Uh, a whopping in them days really was one of the poorest parts of London. I mean, they really didn't have shoes on their feet. I'm talking about 70 years ago now. Um, and Poplar was just slightly a cut above whopping. Uh, you was either East End respectable or you were sort of East End villain, you know, and, and my family was respectable on both sides. Synopsis. Dialogue. Anna? Yes? I didn't leave my address book in here, did I? Your address book? Hmm. I don't think so. I haven't seen it. Oh, I can't find it. Ah, Angela. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen my address book, have you? No. Have you lost it? Yes. Well, I can't find it. Um, I remember I had it with me at the station. The railway station? No. The bus station? The police station? The petrol station? The fire station? No, <laughs> the underground station. You're not taking this very seriously. Oh, sorry. This is a disaster. I can't work without my address book. Now, I had it with me at the underground station yesterday evening. I took it out of my briefcase to check an address. Are you sure it's not in your office? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, I've looked everywhere for it. I think it was on your desk earlier this morning. Well, it's not there now. Come and have a look. Um, telephone... Mm -hmm. Papers, mm -hmm. answering machine, cassette player, uh, Japanese phrase book. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a disaster. If you find it, tell me immediately. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the newspaper headlines. Travel company boss in a dress book drama. <laughs> Grey-haired travel company boss, William Jones... 52. <laughs> Told our reporter, this, this is a disaster. disaster. <laughs> um, it's okay. I found it. Oh, good. It had fallen into the waste paper basket. <laughs>